everyone. Hi, everybody. Here we are, Vera. Beautiful Lake, uh, Lake Manteca. <laughs> it's not really Lake Manteca, we just happened mm -hmm. to be there. <laughs> but yes, beautiful day, so we thought we would uh, join you out here in the park. Yeah. It's a sunny afternoon on Saturday. Retreat that was so oh, I awesome. Think you would have to. It was yeah. so awesome, you guys. I think the highlight for me was all the sharing that took place, and it seemed like a lot of healing too. Oh yeah, from the information. Does, yeah. yeah, from the information and the trance session with Angus was just really cool to be able to have a group together and have him give them information. Yeah, I can't wait to. Uh, it's super to cool. It. Yeah. Yeah. So just wanted to share we had a great retreat looking forward to the next yes. one already and we want to thank everyone who came to share their weekend with us it was really that really was special group that we had me too that they're yeah. a really awesome group yeah all, all of them we had yeah for sure yeah okay so our first question is actually a birthmark question uh -huh. and I believe her name is Zara 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 Resendez Okay, here's the question. New to your channel. Love you guys. Love you too. I have been watching a lot of your videos and I have a strawberry birthmark on the back of my neck that goes high up on my hairline. My son has it as well and some of my family members. What does this mean? I also have a birthmark on the bottom of the arch of my left foot. It looks like a Z and a O attached. Awesome. What do you think, Vera? Well, what I picked up was it was an African life, and she and it was like I don't even know if it was called Africa back then, but I'm not good at that stuff. But it was like an African life, and she was the queen of the tribe. Oh. And she was like, it, it, what came to me was the Pan Black Panther movie, but it was the it was a queen instead of like the king, and she was warrior like and. I mean, she went to battle with her people. She just didn't stay back. You know, she, she, she was amazing. Not that you're not now, you probably are, um, but you're a queen ruler of that tribe. And you, all of the tribe had a tattoo, and it was like a coming of age kind of tattoo that everybody would get once they... On the hairline? On the hairline, well, from the back of the neck, but not all the way up as far as hers. Hers actually in the African life went all the way up. Wow. All the way up the back to the crown chakra, on uh -huh. top of her head. And everyone else's, it depended on how up they were in the, um, you know, the ruler kind of thing. That is... Like the healers had more, the warriors had a different one. Oh, that's kind of really cool, yeah. actually. Yeah, so it was really nice. But the only one that had the, the one on her arch was her. Really? Yeah, because she's who she was. The, and that was to remind her, yeah, to, when she walks the earth, she walks the earth the way she did as she, she was moving. Oh, you know, she wow. She has that strength, she has that compassion, she has that empathy for people, that kind of stuff. But she was an amazing ruler. Yeah, so. And a warrior for most her. women are. Yes. <laughs> and aren't you? I'm not going to be of that course, way. Of but, yeah. course. That's yeah, that was it. Really cool. And that's not just it. I mean, that was amazing. So that's I just a reminder. It. I love how she has it on the bottom of her foot. So when she's walking through life, it's walking with yeah, all that strength. Yeah, because it's a ceremony and... that they had to do, you know, with the, uh, when she got the tattoo on her. That's yeah. super cool. That yeah. is really her arch. Neat. It was actually on the bottom of her foot. Yeah. So if her son and family members they have were it, then they were there. Yeah. So they shared that past life yep. together. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. It'll be interesting to see if she or her son or family members resonate to that culture. Yeah. And her son, I believe, because he was a warrior as well, but he was also a healer. Really? Yeah. So that's really interesting to have those two type of themes. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. I oh, like that. that. Interesting. Okay, well, and we have one more question in our episode right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it. 
so it's from Jazz Lynn Autumn Rose. Pretty name. I love that name. I know, me too. Could you tell me what the witch mark or devil mark is? Devil's mark. Okay, they're really one and the same. Okay. Because I believe, I think there's the devil's number and that's 666, oh, right, right, which right. is really not. But, um, yeah, the devil's mark, witch's mark, is what they did whenever they were looking for witches back in the that time where they were burning. Oh, the witch hunts and witch all hunts, that. Yeah. Um, so, so ridiculous. Yeah. So it's it's if you have a skin tag, I don't know if you know what the skin tags are. They're annoying. Yeah, I have a couple of that I have under my arm. I yes, have. me yeah. too. Yeah. They're just like little skin pieces that, of skin that yeah. just pop out. They call it. This is what it was called back in, whenever they were looking for. They called <laughs> it the witch's teat. <laughs> okay. And that means you know breast, but yeah. Well, or nipple, I should say. Yeah. So, if any women had the mark, mm -hmm. then of course that meant they were a witch. Right. And they would take, not just to check, they would take all of the women's clothes off and check them for the skin tags, not just externally, but internally. You know, it really makes me mad. I mean, mm -hmm. it really makes me angry because it's like they're totally molest they molested all these women, and who doesn't have. A mole something, or, yeah. yeah, a mole or a, some type of anything that all of a sudden, so they get molested, then they get murdered. killed, yeah. murdered for being a witch. Mm -hmm. It's like it's such a freaking excuse to just totally abuse yeah. and harm. Yeah, it just makes me so angry, and it's just, and you know, it's funny too. Not funny, but just a matter of speaking. Interesting. Yeah, is that? Do you notice how? they make it like it's the, I don't want to say victim, but the person who they're doing it to, it's their fault. Yeah. It's somehow it's their fault that this is happening to them. And I think that sometimes we can even absorb and carry that. Not all the times, but sometimes if we do absorb some of that type of whatever's happened to us and we carry that as self memory, mm -hmm. to not, um, you know, to realize that it's not our fault when things that are considered bad or negative or horrible that happened to us it's 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 not our fault it's when somebody else is doing that that type of thing it's their weakness our strength is what gets us through but it's their weakness it's not our fault it's their darkness which which is mark oh Chrissy, how do you real <laughs> yeah really feel about this it situation? does it kind of makes me mad <laughs> but I know that we chart things for yeah. certain reasons but yeah, so <laughs> that's the witch's mark. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what that is. Okay. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's okay. it. So we're this gonna, is going to be a short video. Short video, yeah. So we'll see you guys in a minute. We're going to be We're going to do back. another one. <laughs> okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye.